thought those were cool, but really, I, I couldn't sleep there thinking, like, what if the freaking bluff falls on my house? phone doesn't pick up the uh, fish in the water very well, but I do think those cabins over there are freaking sweet, though. Floating the uh, lower half of Elk below the water bridge into Knoll. It's like I spend my time filming YouTube videos, but I don't know if they have a polarized lens for a camera because that'd be sweet to be able to see down in the water a little bit better. See, there's another soft shell coming right there. If I can zoom in on that dude. Oh, that one's big. Oh, that's not even close. I mean, I've we've got some in last year. I don't even know if I got him on camera now. <laughs> there he is. We got, we got some soft shells last year that were, I mean, bigger than you could imagine. <laughs> They're freaking huge. But we ate them. And I'll probably do a catch and cook video on that soon. So, yeah, if I can go get some more soft shells or snappers here soon, I'll try to do some kind of catch and cook video. <laughs> So we're floating Elk River, down past Ginger Blue, below the Low Water Bridge, going down to River Ranch. Figured I'd put a few shots of us uh, floating. The girls did not want to be in the video, so uh, you won't see any, you know, stuff of that. But uh, figured I'd take everybody along on the YouTube channel and uh, kind of show you the uh, kind of lower half here. Well, it's not really the lower half of Elk, but, you know, that would be below the dam and Knoll. But not the typical ride out of Pineville... It's just got boring, so we're taking a uh, trip on the lower part of the top part of Elk River. So we're just rafting, and uh, I'll give you some cool shots and take you all along. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, like and subscribe if you like the videos. Put any ideas for future videos in the comments, and uh, thanks for tuning in. There is a deer over there. Let's see if I can flip back around. There's a white tail back there. I don't know if you can. I tried to get film of it just a second ago, but uh, I can't really see very good in this uh, phone. But uh, yeah, hopefully there's some good shots of that white tail right there. 
thought it was kind of cool standing down here on the river. Yeah, the white tail took off, so we're just going to get uh, get on with it, get a little further down, probably do some more swimming and stuff like that. We're uh, right next to Knoll. Got trucks going by. We're down here by the river. They're down here by the <laughs> by the road on the river. But uh, yeah, we'll get going and uh, continue on. So we've reached Shady Beach, down from uh, just above Low Water Bridge. So we've come all the way down from there. It's a few shots earlier of us coming down that way. And uh, yeah, the water and the river is. Water's deeper and the river's wider this year than it was in 2017. So that's kind of cool that you know the river seems to have widened up. We'll be heading down that direction. South towards Knoll, passing Tucson's campground here before I don't know, probably take us an hour to get there because the wind, the prevailing wind is against us. It looks like the river's flowing upstream in these calm areas. So it's just gonna be a uh, a test of uh, <laughs> our ability to paddle to get further down. That works. So we're about a mile south of uh, Shady Beach now. So, so we have a wind prevailing on us, and all of us are uh, sick of paddling. So, I'm currently in the river, pushing the raft down the river for as long as I can stand it, hoping we can hit a current, and we can just be lazy after that. We are like a, we're right at two suns, and uh, yeah, we got a ways to go, and it's currently sucking really bad right now. So that's the. Uh, That was a really cool setup though. from River Ranch down here. Yeah. Uh -huh. 